This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be testing the water resistance of my five black fountain pen inks. I'm going to do a writing sample of each one so we can kind of get a sneak peek of how the inks compare to each other. Then I'm going to take this sheet of Maraman Namasani paper and put it in some water. I'll leave it there for a little while and then take it out and we'll see how each of the inks survived. Now, the first ink I have is Sailor Gentle Black. This was the first black fountain pen ink that I bought when I, I think it was when I got this pen. I didn't have a converter for it, so I went ahead and used the ink cartridge that came with it. And actually, that was the first black fountain pen ink I ever used and I really loved it so I got a bottle of it okay this is my sailor pro gear slim with a fine nib and this is sailor gentle black Okay, a nice black ink. The next four ink samples that I've gotten, the next one is Aurora Black, and I've got it in my Platinum 3776 with a fine nib. There's resistance here, or feedback, but this is nice, a nice writing experience. Okay. Next, I've got my Pilot Prera with a fine nib, and it's got Diamine Onyx Black. After writing with the Sailor and the Platinum, this uh, Pilot, Pilot Prayer, is very smooth. Okay, and next I've got two Noodler's inks. The first one is Noodler's Black. I've got it in my Pilot 78G Plus, the Demonstrator. And this is the first time I've new used Noodler's Black. The last few days are the first time I've used any Noodler's ink. And next I've got Noodler's X Feather. And it's also in a Pilot 78G with a fine nib. Now, just going on first impressions, 
X feather seems to be my favorite. But that is with very limited experience. Okay. While I'm letting these dry, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of a close-up, more of a close-up. And let me see. On this nemosyne paper, there's not a whole lot of difference. My first writing sample that I did, um, just to make sure everything was writing correctly, was on Leuch term and there was more of a noticeable difference. Now Onyx Black seems to be more of a crisp line and there's not as much of a difference. There's not hardly any noticeable difference between the Noodler's Black and the X Feather. There was a, a big difference on the Leuch term. The X Feather behaved a lot better. The Noodler's Black wanted to spread just ever so slightly. Well, on this Mnemosyne paper, they're pretty, they appear to be pretty equal. I'm going to pause the video for just a little bit and give this a few minutes to dry and then we can drop it in the water. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I'm going to Remove this sheet. And this is just tap water. I thought about using distilled water, but I don't know if this is a, a better test. This might have a little chlorine in the water from the tap. Okay, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. The noodlers just stayed put. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. I'm going to give that a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video again. And we'll come back and see what happens. Okay. It's been a few minutes. Let me set a napkin over here. I'll take this out. I'm kind of surprised by these results. Let's see. The I was kind of worried about the Sailor Gentle Black and Aurora Black at first because a lot of black, a lot of color lifted up, but it's still very readable. Um, the diamine, that's strange how some of it hung around, but most of it mm, yeah, I don't even think you would be able to read that. You can see just little bits, but the Noodler's inks were impressive. And I meant to check before I, I think they did, this paper did pretty good about not letting those bleed through. I meant to check before I dipped it in the water, but really you've got four good options for permanent ink and two of those are great. Wow. You know, it's one thing to see it uh, a good resource is Jet Pens. They have, for our, like all the Noodler's inks, really, it might be for all their fountain pen inks, I'm not sure, that they have the little, when you scroll through the pictures, they've got the tests that they do. They do a water test. Um, they do just like a blotting test, a rubbing it with water test, a highlighter test. That's a good resource. But... It's fun to just 
test it for yourself as well. I'm going to do this same thing with my blue inks, some of my off black inks. I'll have a couple different uh, color categories that I'm going to do this same test for, but I thought black would be a good one to start with. This was kind of fun. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.